what up what up we are here we got our santa hat on that means we're only here to do one thing and that's do a little advent of code what's the challenge we're going to do today though uh we're going to be doing day four 2024 entirely in vim macros so we're going to go over what the puzzle is and then we're going to start blowing your mind so today's puzzle is a word search we're trying to find the word xmas it can be horizontal vertical diagonal overlapping other words and it can even be backwards. And so our job is to count up how many hits of the word we've got. So we've got our sample input here, and we're gonna start by just finding the letters Xmas left to right. So we're gonna turn on HL search, which is highlight search. We're gonna look for the word Xmas, and you can see we've got three hits. What we're gonna do is we're gonna record a macro that is going to grab four letters and paste them somewhere else in the buffer. So we're gonna hit QA, to record a macro in a register A. We're gonna hit MA to drop a mark here. We're gonna go one, two, three to the right. V, back tick A to get back to A. Set register X, yank our contents into that Q to stop recording our macro. So if we look at register X, you can see those four letters are in there. If we go to here and execute register A, we look at register X and now we have Xmas in there. And if you're wondering why we moved over and then used back tick to jump back to our starting point, that is because a macro will stop executing under certain conditions if you try to move to space that doesn't exist, for example. So trying to do that means that if we execute our macro at the end of a line, if we look at register X, it hasn't gotten to the point where we're actually yanking anything. So this is a way we can write a macro that will automatically stop if it tries to go out of bounds of the buffer. Next, we need another macro that we're gonna record into register U that's gonna to go to the end of the file, hit O to open a new line, then it is going to paste from register X, close, and then go back to our mark. So now if we go somewhere else in the file and we execute macro A and then macro U, it will paste these four letters to the end of the file. So what we can actually do is hit Q with a capital A and then execute our macro. And if we look at our register here, we, what we've done is we've appended those two characters to the end of our existing macro. So now if we execute the macro at register A, it's gonna grab four letters and drop them at the end of the file. So what we wanna do now is we wanna execute this macro on every hit of the letter X. So we're gonna use vim grep. We're gonna look for the letter X. We're gonna use the G flag. So each hit on a line will be marked individually and we're gonna do it for this file. So now our quick fix list is all of these hits. So what we can do is we can use the cdo command to execute any kind of command we want for every one of those hits. So in this case, we can use gul to make the letter lowercase, and you can see that it's taken that effect. So we're gonna undo that. So what we're gonna do is use cdo to execute our macro at register A. And you can see every hit of the letter X, it's run our macro, which has yanked those four letters, pasted them down here, and then jumped back. We have all of our hits left to right, and we can see we found all three of our X misses. But we also have all this other junk. So what are we gonna do about that? So what we could do is use bang G to pipe everything from there to the end of the line through another program and grep for the word Xmas and then do a word count with a line to get the number three, but that feels like cheating. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a line here that's the number zero. You can use Control A or Control X to increase or decrease the number on that line. We're gonna use a global command, which is gonna run on whatever matches here, in this case, Xmas, and then we're gonna execute a normal command, which is gonna be to go to line 11 and then just hit Control A. So each one of those jumps to line 11 and incremented the number there, giving us our count. So now you understand the recipe. We've got left to right working. Now we've got to just get is the seven other cases. The next case we're going to handle is when the word appears vertically. And you might think this is going to be easy because we can just go into visual block mode, highlight it, yank it to a register, use our macro. But here's what happens. So it's preserving this shape with these uh, line breaks, which is not what we want. And we could do something where we line this back up, hit J, remove the spaces, but ain't nobody got time for that. So what we're gonna do instead is take advantage of the fact that we can append two registers. 
We're going to hit QB to start recording our macro in a register B. We're going to hit assign to register X, yank a letter, hit J to go down one. We're going to use capital X to append to this register, yank a letter, down one more, capital X, yank a letter, last one, capital X, yank the letter. We're going to execute our macro on the letter U and hit Q. So now we have a macro that we can hit on any line. And when we execute it, it will drop those four. And if those keystrokes would put it out of bound, it'll bail out. So now we've got a formula that we can actually kind of generalize. So we can paste from register B, we'll call this top down. We can actually make this general by substituting everywhere we use the letter J for the letter K globally on this line. And this is now bottom up. We can also just substitute this K with an H, and now that's our right to left. And since it's working so well, we can actually use this as our left to right. For the diagonals, we can grab our top down and we can just substitute all of our J's with J and L to make this down to the right. We can substitute the JLs with JH to get down to the left. And we should be able to substitute both of these, change the down to an up, and change our J's to K's. And now we should have the macros for all of our directions. So now we're going to make our life a little bit easier. We're going to save this to a file called macros uh, macros.vim. So now we have all these macros defined, we can use source. And if we look at registers, you can see we've loaded in all of these macros. So now what we're going to do is run them. All right. So we've got our quick fix list still set up. We are going to sudo normal at a b c d e f g and h now we are gonna set our counter here so now we're gonna go from line 12 to the end of the file we are gonna go in a global mode anything that matches the line xmas we're gonna execute this normal mode command which is gonna be going to line 11 G and incrementing. We've got 18 here, and we can see that we are getting the correct result for our example. All right, and now we're going to run it on the real file. So we're going to go to the end. We're going to add a couple lines as our buffer. We are going to find our vimgrep command. We're going to run this again. We're going to use silent sudo because we want to suppress all the output. Then for every hit, we're going to execute our normal mode command in register A. We got something. C, B, D. So we got a lot, a whole lot of lines here. We're going to add our line on 141 to be our counter. Then we're going to say from 145 to the end of the file, we are going to run this global command on anything that matches this search, which is going to be a normal command to jump to line 41 and increment. And we've got 2507. And the moment of truth here, is this the right answer? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So now on to part two. Instead of finding the word Xmas, we actually just want to find mass in an X formation. So our current strategy is going to be fine. We just need to tweak it a little bit. So we're going to go back to our sample input and we're going to use the same strategy, except we are going to change this to 
look for the letter A. So we just need to record a new macro. We're gonna hit Q I to record into register I. We're gonna drop a mark here. We're gonna go up one over one, register X, yank a letter. We're gonna go back to our mark. We are going to append to register X, yank the letter, and then down one and one to the right. Append to register X, yank the letter. We're gonna go back to the start. We're gonna go up one over one the other direction. Continue to append, register X, yank the letter, back to our mark, um, register X, append, yank the letter, down one over one, register X, append, yank the letter Q. And so if we did this right, we should be able to look at a register X and see M-A-S-S-A-M, -S -S and we want M-A-S-S-A-M. -S -S so that is what we want here. And what we're gonna do is just hit Q and capital I to record appending to that. And we're just gonna drop our U register there, which is what pastes it to the bottom. So now um, we're gonna do the same CDU approach. Our normal mode command, we're gonna execute macro at register I. And now we have all of the output of all the X's. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get our counter here. So we're gonna do the same thing here from 12 to the end of the file. We are gonna global, but we can't just look for Xmas. We need to look for every possible permutation. And so there's four different ways it could go. So we're gonna use the very magic flag. That's gonna let us do a little more complicated things. And we'll say mass, 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 Sam, Sam, mass, Sam, Sam. And anything that matches any of these four patterns, now we're going to do our normal mode command, which is going to be go to line 11G and increment. And we've got nine hits here, which is what the sample problem is supposed to have. So now let's run it on the real thing. So we're back in our real input. We're going to add a couple lines of buffer again at the end. We are going to find our vimgrep command. We're going to load up our quick fix list. And then we are just going to look for our silent command. We're gonna run that. So we're gonna add our counter and we're gonna do the same thing. So 145 to the end of the file, global, very magic flag, mas, 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 sam, sam, mas, sam, sam. Normal, 141G increment. We've got 1969. Moment of truth. All right, gang, I hope you learned something new in here today, or if nothing else, are at least impressed by how far you can go with just a couple of Vim macros and a few well-executed commands. If you like this video, I'm not gonna ask you to like or subscribe. Instead, I'm gonna ask you to follow the link in the description and make a donation to Bram's foundation. So Bram, creator of Vim, his whole thing was raising money for children in Uganda. And so it's Christmas time, it's the season of giving. If you can afford it, click the link in the description below and make a little donation so we can keep, uh, keep Bram's purpose going. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.